Linux Air Combat Online 5 on 5. This is Linux Air Combat version 7.96 from early March 2020. Linux Air Combat is a free, open source combat flight simulator for the Linux community and it can run on any PC powerful enough to run any version of Windows since Windows XP. On the 4th of March 2020, I went online and joined a squadron of Red Team Spitfires. There were five of us, all flying Spitfire Mark 9s. Almost everybody loves that airplane. It looks great, it turns wonderfully, and it climbs and accelerates reasonably. We flew in the beautiful Pacific Island Theater in mission number three. With a quick glance at the 10 indicator lights on my cockpit's router panel, I could see that all 10 of the mission's player positions were occupied, five on my red team versus five on the blue team. We decided to fly directly into hostile blue territory. On the way there, we started seeing red team radar blips way off to the west. Evidently, five enemy aircraft had taken off from Field Blue 3, about 130 kilometers ahead. They were at low altitude, slowly climbing, and headed our way. We vectored a little to the north to avoid overflying the hostile HQ enemy airfield immediately to our west. We didn't want to take damage from their deadly anti-aircraft batteries. Gradually, it became clear that the enemy was coming in a squadron of five heavy bombers. They would soon overfly their own HQ airfield. We figured they would linger there a while. While they'd be above their own HQ field, climbing to their attack altitude. Airfield guns are effective all the way up to 10,000 feet, and that would give them the advantage. They would want to climb above that 10,000 foot level before they tried to attack our airfield. Fortunately, if we moved quickly enough, we had a chance to intercept them before they reached the cover of the anti-aircraft guns bristling around their HQ airfield. Once more, we slammed our throttles forward and dove toward the oncoming cluster of enemy bombers. That's an enemy As we got closer, we identified them. Five high speed HE-111 heavy bombers, each lugging 12 high explosive bombs destined for our HQ. Each of those bombers bristled with multiple defensive machine guns, and attacking five of them could be deadly. In these situations, the best tactic is to keep speed high and to attack individual bombers with multiple friends at our sides, splitting their deadly firepower. Rather than lingering at each bomber for extended firing, it's best just to make high-speed slashing attacks while passing them up and heading for the next target, repeating the exercise without ever slowing down. That's what we did. We had time for just one pass through all five hostiles before they reached the protective cover of their own airfield. All five aircraft in my squadron got hits on all of the enemy bombers. They shuddered a bit from the explosive impacts of our cannon rounds, but none of them fell from the sky. We had all suffered damage from their guns, too. We peeled off and headed back to our own HQ airfield to get repairs and to replenish our ammo and fuel. Landing as a squadron was easy, and our ground personnel gave us great and rapid service. Within a few minutes, we were back in the air, climbing. The enemy bombers had been climbing during the whole time while we were returning to our base and getting service, so they were three or four thousand feet above us when we took off on the second segment of the mission. As we had expected, the bad guys were staying within the protected area directly above their own airfield as they climbed toward 10,000 feet for their attack run. They would need to be above 10,000 feet to avoid the anti-aircraft fire from our gunners when they made their bombing run on us. So, both groups went into wary climb cycles, each keeping an eye on the other, trying to anticipate the commencement of hostilities. Our fighters could climb faster, of course. 
We stopped climbing when we got to 9,000 feet, so we would still be within the protective range of our own gunners. The bombers were then about 3,000 feet below, we just kept circling and watching them climb. Two of the enemy bombers were out climbing the others. When they got to 10,000 feet, they made a dash toward our airfield and we all headed toward them at maximum speed, intent on intercepting and stopping them. I was tail end Charlie on our team, which turned out to be advantageous for me. By the time I got to the enemy bombers, they had each taken damage from all four of my teammates. They both fell to my guns as I got to administer the coup de grace. Two victories for me and two assists for each of my four squad mates. Unfortunately, at least one of those two airplanes was able to drop his ordnance before I shot him down, and some of his bombs hit our airfield, inflicting minor damage, but not knocking us out of commission. Turning back to the west after dispatching those first two bombers, all five of us got above the remaining three hostiles. This tactical situation forced them to sweat it out and to choose between abandoning their mission or attempting to bomb our HQ while we threatened them from above. After they reached 10,000 feet of altitude, they bravely turned toward our blue team HQ. We began our attack before they left the zone of protection offered by their ground gunners, and as a consequence, several of my buddies took some damage from ground fire. Nevertheless, as all four of them preceded me into the fray, they all got hit on the remaining three bombers, inflicting heavy damage before I got into guns range and began firing. Once again, my position as tail end Charlie worked to my advantage, and I was able to hammer each one of those. I was able to hammer on each of those three wounded bombers one by one until each fell in succession. I claimed five enemy bombers shot down and I credit each of my four squad mates with well-earned a six. Eight, seven, four. Targeting four. Taking damage from their act. I'm gonna go up higher for a while. Let's get above 10,000 feet where their ACAC doesn't reach. There we go. Four is down below the ACAC board barrier. I think I'll just wait for him to climb a little bit and then I'll bushwhack him. He's got to climb before he makes his attack run on our airfield. And I can see some of our own fighters are weakening. There they go. Maybe I'll join him. Replay four, you're going down. Let's team up on him. Four is down. Two. Targeting blue two. Yahoo! I think we got them all. I'm heavily damaged, but I'm ahead home. After shooting down all of the enemy bombers, all of us landed safely at Red HQ. It was a great day for Red. Landing gear coming down. I think I'm going to land toward the east, which is different from everybody else. I have to be careful here not to crash anybody head on. over the side here, out of the way, as everybody else comes in.
Welcome home, everybody. This is great. This has been a great mission with